It's good, but it's all my favorite. So aesthetic in the grocery haul. So I just got ready rosemary hair treatment. Hello you guys, good morning, actually good afternoon. It just hit 12 o'clock. I got some work done this morning. I just had to like finalize a video, um, make sure it was approved and like input the thumbnail, make the thumbnail and everything. So that's what I did this morning. I had a nice smoothie and now I just got ready and I got changed. Today is an errand day and it is a comfy errand day. I felt like just throwing on sweatpants and a crew neck because it is like really gloomy outside today. It's not raining, but it's like just really gray. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to stay comfy, especially because later I'm going over to my house, my family's house. And we're having a little birthday dinner, like a family birthday dinner because I haven't seen my family for my birthday yet, like my mom and my dad. So that's what I'm doing tonight. So I decided that I should stay comfy now and then I'll put something a little cuter on later. I just have to get some groceries, return a couple things from Ikea. I also want to buy a couple things from Ikea. Yeah, that's the plan for today. I'm going to take you guys along for this little productive day in my life. It just feels like so comfortable to be in sweatpants, but I'm, I still look somewhat put together. So got my reusable bags for shopping. I got two bags in here and then this bag. So I got three in total because we're not trying to waste plastic bags out here. So I'm really trying to make an effort to bring reusable bags whenever I go shopping now. Diego, Diego. Say, Okay, I just returned all my items and I think that I'm going to get this to store like flour and sugar and like all my baking supplies in because these are the smaller ones that I have currently for like pastas and stuff but as you can see there's like a big size difference so I think I'm going to go and get these because these are bigger for like I can probably fit like a whole small thing of flour in here and sugar as well so I think that these would be perfect and it's like the biggest ones that they have and it's only nine dollars so it's not like that bad Okay, so I just got out of Ikea and I'm currently at the grocery store. I just have to get like a couple of things that we were running out of. Like I went to go have bread yesterday and we didn't have any. So I need to get bread. I want to get more bagels, eggs, um, more frozen fruit just to have and bananas. Also, I really want to try to buy rosemary because I don't know if you've ever heard of this natural hair growth method but basically if you take rosemary and you boil it and you make like a rosemary tea rosemary water and then you like do a hair mask with it before you wash your hair um, or a rinse a hair rinse or whatever apparently it promotes hair growth like crazy and recently like i just have been feeling like my hair has been shedding i think it's just because of the season too um, my hair always sheds this time of year a lot and I've just been noticing it sheds so much but I think it's normal but anyways I've just been wanting to try this for a while regardless of that and so I'm gonna try to find rosemary and see if I can find it for the next time that I wash my hair so I can make this and show you guys and um, we can do a little DIY together and then I can update you guys on if I notice a difference in my hair because people say it's like their holy girl hair grower like apparently it's if you're like losing hair in a spot it'll help regrow it and people said that they've noticed like a huge difference with it so I'm going to try it and I'm really excited too I hope it works just I don't know to make my hair grow longer and healthier because I feel like I haven't been paying like much attention to my hair lately in terms of like putting any masks in it or anything so hopefully they have some rosemary in here but i don't know i'm just i'm 
I'm gonna try not to take too long because I just want to get like the essentials and then I feel like I need more things like that I was thinking of but I didn't write down so hopefully they come to me once I'm in there and also I'll show you guys what I got from Ikea when I get home it's really cute like my pantry's gonna look so cute now I got this really um, natural hand sanitizer and I have eczema on my hands and this one does not hurt me and it doesn't sting so if you guys have really dry hands and hand sanitizer stings for you I really recommend getting this one um, I just picked it up at Shoppers Drug Mart, so I'm pretty sure you can find it in like the natural aisle because it's a um, organic one and it doesn't have harmful chemicals in it and I really really love it and it smells really good. So if you guys are looking for a more gentle hand sanitizer because I know like always putting those really harsh chemicals on your hands can't be good for you, um, this is definitely something to look for because I literally love it so much and it does not hurt my hands. It's all good. Can I please get the new um, toasted vanilla oat shake and espresso, please? Okay, guys, I got the new Starbucks drink. It's like the toasted. Hold on, I'm gonna pull up the exact name for you guys. Okay, it's the iced toasted vanilla oat shake and espresso. I'm pretty sure it's like literally brand new. Um, so I pulled over to give you guys my first impressions. It's good, but it's not my favorite. It really reminds me of the sugar cookie drink that they had for Christmas, I'm pretty sure it was. Let me just mix it up, maybe because it wasn't like mixed it properly. Yeah, it's really good, but it's just not my favorite. Like I'd prefer to get like a brown sugar oat shake and espresso, you know? I, I like that better. today's video because I am really excited to introduce you to the sponsor which is sleepy skin I have been using them for the past like month now I got their products so long ago and I obviously wanted to test them out before I show them to you guys to make sure that I really like them so sleepy skin is a skincare brand they are made in the USA and they have night and morning specific formulated formulas so they have like a night routine that you can specifically do. It's all laid out for you on the website and also a morning routine. So these products are for their night routine. So I'm going to be showing you guys what I've been doing because my skin has been honestly glowing lately. So the first product that I use is their resurfacing lactic acid sleeping serum. It's resurfacing, smoothing, and it gives you an all day glow. Can we just give a round of applause for their packaging because it is so aesthetic. It's simple, but it's so cute at the same time. So after cleansing, I just go in with this and put a few drops on my face. So this serum is formulated with lactic acid and PHA to help gently exfoliate and make your skin glow. I don't know if this is bad, but I always put it in my hand before putting it on my face. I probably should do it the other way around, but this is just what I've always been doing, okay? Don't come at me in the comments. What I love most about their products is that they're free of dyes, parabens, fragrance. They don't have anything artificial in them because my skin does not do fragrance because I have very dry and sensitive eczema prone skin. And if I put fragrance on my skin, oh, I will know in 0.2 seconds because it will be burning. And plus, they're vegan, cruelty-free, and they do not test on animals. So after going in with the serum, I'm going to go in with their Sweet Dream Hyaluronic Acid Strawberry Sleeping Mask. Also, the packaging on this is literally so cute. This is like a Pinterest packaging, if that even makes sense. Like it's so aesthetically pleasing and so simple and cute. So this is formulated with four different types of hyaluronic acid to target like all the layers of your skin and really penetrate it. Because sometimes I'll literally put on a cream and it feels like it doesn't soak into my skin. It feels like it'll just like stay on the outside layer. But this one, I feel it really soaking in, if that even makes sense, and really hydrating my skin. This also has oatmeal extract in it, which I know is, I've been doing like research on it. And apparently oatmeal extracts and stuff like anything to do with oatmeal is really good for like eczema and dry skin. And also these products are targeted to help you rejuvenate and heal your skin rather than just like clearing it. Yeah, also I literally kept the, the boxes of the packaging as well because I thought that it was so cute. Like look at that. Pinterest worthy. So freaking cute. But anyways, skincare is all done and I love how simple and easy that was and it gives you like all the skincare ingredients that you need. But yeah, I'm just gonna go to bed and I will talk to you guys 
tomorrow and give you an update and then we'll go back to the video hello you guys it is the next morning and i just wanted to show you guys my skin and how freaking glowy it is i literally love their products so much um, I will have them linked down below as well as a coupon code for you guys. So go check the links down below and yeah, thank you so much to Sleepy Skin for sponsoring this video. Okay guys, so I just got home and I'm going to give you guys a little mini grocery haul. I just got sourdough bread, restock on the bread, restock on the cheese bagels because I'm obsessed. I wonder how long this phase is going to last because I've just been obsessed. I got banana chips because I haven't had these in so long and they're so hard to resist. I used to be obsessed with these so I'm so excited to have them again. Um, I got oat milk because we're running low on that. I got strawberries because I just love having fresh strawberries or slash fruit so I can just snack on it. And then I got this new um, Earth's Own cream cheese. So it's a dairy-free cream cheese and I'm so excited to try it because I've tried different brands of dairy-free cream cheese, but I'm pretty sure this one's brand new because I've never seen it before. So I'm really excited to try this. I'm going to have it with my cheese bagel. Um... And I did end up finding some rosemary, but this is all that I found. So I'm going to make a small batch with this because I'm pretty sure you need like a lot more. So I'm going to try and find like a bigger batch. But in the meantime, I'll just do like the first batch um, with this. I'm sure this amount will be fine for like one dose of it or whatever. And then I got some bananas and some eggs. And then I stopped at the dollar store right after and I got random like just like some permanent markers just so i can write on like plastic bags and stuff just to have in the house because i didn't have any permanent markers i got this little glass jar i want to put my cocoa powder in here and then i got the spray bottle for the um, rosemary um, to put for my hair and then from ikea i ended up getting these glass lids instead of the wood ones just because for my baking stuff i was like why not switch it up and then for everything else like i have the wooden ones so i was like why not switch it up and get the glass lids because it also looks super sleek and aesthetic um as well i got two of the really big jars and then i got two of the smaller ones so i might end up returning one i'm not sure if i'm gonna need all of these but i just wanted to get them so i didn't have to like go back um if i needed more i'd rather like return than go back um if i need to buy some just so i can get it all done today so yeah i'm so excited to organize my baking stuff i'm gonna literally do that right now after putting away the groceries <laughs> actually obsessed with the way that this turned out i'm really happy that i went for the clear lids because up here for the pastas i have the bamboo lid so it kind of differentiates like the baking stuff from like the pasta and the rice and stuff so i really like how i went with the clear lids sorry it's so out of focus but so here i got flour this is coconut sugar coconut sugar is a really good alternative to just like regular sugar i'm pretty sure it's a lot healthier for you so any recipe that calls for white sugar, I just substitute it with coconut sugar. And I just got a big bag at Costco for pretty cheap. Um, I have oats in here, um, cocoa powder in here, and then I got brown sugar. So this is the container that I got at the dollar store. They didn't have this small of containers at Ikea, but this was literally $3 at the dollar store. So it's such a steal. I think I'm going to put these up in here above the plates and kind of have them on this shelf since I don't have anything going on up here. And I think that would look really cute. Okay, so here is how it turned out. I think it looks so freaking cute and aesthetic. 
I'm obsessed. This has always been like my dream to have a pantry like this and put them all in like matching glass jars. I just think that it's so freaking cute and it wasn't even that expensive to do um, because these are pretty cheap at Ikea. So I'll have these linked down below for you guys if you're interested. But yeah, it just makes everything look really sleek and clean and aesthetic. I am actually obsessed. So I just got ready. I just got changed because I already had my makeup done um, because I'm going to my family dinner party. Um, it's basically just going to be my family there. I don't even know what we're having for dinner. They're surprising me and we're going to have a cake and everything with my family. So I'm really excited. Um, this is my fit. I want it to look a little cute while still being comfortable. So I have these Princess Polly jeans on but they are literally the most comfortable things ever i'm just wearing air forces my purse and then this tube top that i think i got from garage like two year three years ago i don't even know i haven't worn a tube top in so long but i was like this looks really cute together so anyways that's what i'm doing right now i'm probably not really gonna vlog there just because there's not gonna be much to vlog there but maybe i'll pull out my camera i'm gonna still bring it with me so i'll see you guys later So we are going to make the rosemary um, hair treatment. Right now I'm gonna do it with you guys. I just watched the video again just to refresh what you have gotta do. So basically, I'll link the video down below for you guys as well just in case you wanna reference that instead. But basically what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna put all this rosemary inside the pot. And I'm just doing a small batch because she used a lot more in the video, but um, like I already said, this is like the only container that I found. Now that I have that in the pot, and she said it's okay if it's like brown and stuff, like I think she said it's even better when it's like this. So now I'm gonna take this and fill it up with a bit of water. So I'm just gonna, like I said, I'm just doing a very small batch. Now I'm just gonna bring this to a boil and that's pretty much it. Okay, the water just came to a boil, so I turned off the stove and then now I'm just gonna let it sit covered um, until it cools probably for an hour because it's already 8 50 and then I'm gonna put it in my hair So I'll update you guys in like an hour. Right, so this is what it looks like It's been about an hour and a half since I let it sit. So as you can see, it's a lot darker like it's literally brown Slash black so you have to be careful if your hair is blonde because it can potentially like leave a stain in it Obviously for me it doesn't matter, but if your hair is blonde you've got to be a little more careful So i'm just going to take this and somehow transfer it over to this bottle I just realized I don't even have a funnel so i'm gonna have to be as careful as I can Maybe i'll even like dunk it in uh, I don't know i'll find a way but i'm gonna do that right now because it's pretty much cooled down just a little bit warm okay my hair is literally so greasy right now it's really gross but anyways i'm gonna spray this in this is what it looks like it literally just looks like tea what you do is before you shampoo and condition you just wet your hair with it some people like to just like dunk their head over the tub and like pour it over but i think i get it doing it with this spray bottle i'm gonna waste less and get like more targeted like on my roots so that's what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna literally wet my whole entire head with it i think i'm gonna do kind of like section by section just to get really in there so this is what i did i tied my hair into a trash bag because it was literally dripping so I just wanted to keep it somewhat contained while I, I mean, before I go in the shower. So the girl in the video said to let this sit for 15 to 20 minutes. So yeah, I'm just going to chill, let this sit, and then I will update you guys on when it rinses out. It actually smells pretty good because rosemary has like a really nice natural fragrance to it. So it's not bad at all, honestly. And I still have like half the bottle left after doing that. Actually, it's more than half. So this is going to be perfect for me for the next time I wash my hair. Okay, so I just washed my hair and everything just like is normal, I guess. So I'll update you guys on the progress on how if I see like hair growth or whatever, I'll keep you guys updated. But yeah, I'm going to try to do this twice a week. So every single time I wash my hair and I'll keep you guys updated because I'm actually really excited. So if you want to do this with me, then do it. I'll have the video that I watched linked down below so you guys can reference that too. But yeah, I'm really excited. <laughs> Personally, I'm surprised you call me after the things